Welcome back to watching Ashura Napsida. Today I'm going to work on a new website I'm building and the website I'm building is going to be a service-oriented website. I offer services and also products. However, I felt like if I'm offering a service and also a product, I shouldn't put it on one website because both of them have been on one website. But it's so confusing when your clients go on your website and they find services, yet you also have an online store. And the first thing they see is an online store. So if you're a business owner and you want to save costs, please don't do this because I made this mistake because I only wanted to manage one website and I didn't want to try to build a new website for the services I provided, but that's costed me a lot of business. So I've decided to build a new website for the services I offer, although it's going to cost me uh, it's going to cost me money in having a new SSL certificate on the new website and building to make it secure for you and also going to, it's going to cost me some money for a new domain name and what it's also going to do it's going to cost me some money to host it so if you're a business owner and you offer a variety of services and a variety of products please try to separate them because this will help your business and help people find you easily without confusing them with so many things you're offering yeah some of us want to offer everything and we can offer a few things so you want to offer a variety of things which you know you can offer and which you can offer so you try to reach your target group or your audiences in different ways and this needs to be this needs to be achieved by having different channels and having different channels that means you have to have different websites for all your different services and products you provide so if they're in one category then they should have one website for that one category but if you're offering services a variety of services you know you should categorize them in categories and build a website for each and the products also you're selling you should also categorize them and build a website for each i hope this has been helpful to you stay tuned and find out on what services and products I'm going to be adding to my portfolio and stay tuned, like this video, comment and share it with all your friends and family and see you soon.